Well, the outbreak at the White House and the president's return are raising new questions about how officials will keep the virus from spreading even farther. KPIX 5 anchor Alan Martin spoke with doctors about the new concerns. Late today, President Trump returned to the White House with the blessings of his doctors. Though he may not entirely be out of the woods yet, the team and I agree that all our evaluations, and most importantly, his clinical status, support the president's safe return home. The president broke the news with a tweet urging followers, quote, not to be afraid of COVID and not to let it dominate your life. Bay Area doctors threw up their hands. And this is exactly what my worry was, is people were going to think, oh, see, he's fine now. So why should we worry? And let's just all get sick. Uh, don't be afraid of COVID, he said. That, this is after uh, 210,000 Americans have died and more than 1 million people in the world. In the world. So... I hate to say it, but that made me feel ill. The president is back at a White House that's well equipped with world class medical care. But Mr. Trump could infect others for days. UCSF's Dr. Robert Wachter. All the evidence would say he's well within the window of still shedding live virus. So you have to treat him as if he has. Uh, active COVID and can can infect someone who uh, is around him. Not only that, Mr. Trump's health could suddenly change. Stanford epidemiologist Dr. Yvonne Maldonado. Um, the fact that he feels better now is great, but we do see patients. I have seen patients who've gotten better and then gotten worse. And in fact, in the second week, some of these patients do get worse. UC Berkeley's political expert Mark Sandalo says it's all about the optics before the election. Almost certainly already Trump supporters are going to say, wow, this guy, nothing stops him, not even COVID. Uh, but the problem with that is it's too early to know that. Even his own doctor, who has served as somewhat of a cheerleader, said he's not out of the woods today. Um, well, meanwhile, the first lady says she is, quote, feeling good and resting at home after she also tested positive for COVID-19.